Thank you for listening to Lone Star Community Radio. This program was broadcasted and recorded live from the LSCR studios in downtown Conroe, Texas. Lone Star Community Radio is supported by listeners like you. Donate and sponsor today. For more information on getting involved with Lone Star Community Radio, contact us at lscrstudios at gmail.com or visit us online at www.irlonestar.com. You're listening to Mornings at Lone Star here on Lone Star Community Radio, irlonestar.com worldwide, and Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1. It is the Conroe Crossroads Week here happening in downtown Conroe starting Thursday. Visit ConroeCrossroads.com to get tickets to this huge festival, 42 shows, 11 venues in one city. And I'm sitting with Jordan Matthew Young, who's going to be playing at the Corner Pub on Saturday, April 15th, around 1030-ish, around that time. He's closing down the Corner Pub. So we got Jordan on Zoom. He's, I believe he's in Austin or he's in some stranger's house right now. We don't really know where he is. Hey, Jordan, how you doing, man? Good, man. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Good morning, man. This is going to be exciting. Uh, you guys are playing at the Corner Pub. You said you've played at the Corner Pub before, right? Right. So the first year of Conroe Crossroads, we got to play. Um, the very first year they did it, um, we were we were out of town the second year, but this will be our, our second time playing. Mm-hmm. Um, the festival and yeah last time we played we also closed out the corner pub so we're yeah same same slot same uh bunch of new songs but uh yeah we're all there's some really good bands that night too um right before us is the reverend few Mm -hmm. and we we live in austin and play with them um you know a few times a year they're good buddies of ours there's some really good bands yeah, I always wondered that about uh, the new world of festivals where bands now become like you're so familiar with one another because of literally exchanging the stage. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, all right, eventually people are going to be like, hey, do you, you're a good saxophone player. Do you want to play sax on our stage for like 10, 20 minutes? So that's one thing I really enjoy about festivals because you kind of see that energy where people are like, oh, I'm going to stick around. Uh, but yeah. let's talk about a little bit about your music real quick. Uh I put some links to for your Spotify and stuff for people to listen. Uh, they'll they'll see and they'll li- they'll hear something good, and it's something I would call it like if I was listening to it, it's a it's a hybrid of great rock and roll, loud. And it's almost like I mean you play the guitar, like mm-hmm. the guitar is in in your music, and it's awesome. It's almost like a Led Zeppelin kind of feel, where right. a lot of the songs have heavy guitar, and I always dig that. Because you know it's going to be a good show if you go see these guys live. If that's in the album version, you're like, yeah, that's going to be a 20-minute solo right there if I if I see them on stage. And it's going to be awesome. So, uh, And that's what I kind of want to ask you is when, you, when you're when you telling the audience to come see your show on Saturday, what, does, what should they expect? Yeah, that is very much a guitar band. When we started, when I really like started touring, um, probably... 10 years ago, uh, 12 years ago, um, it was always a trio. So it's always been very guitar fronted, you know, um, just bass, drums and guitar. Um, so yeah, it's, it's still like that. Anytime I hit the road, um, in Austin, or if I'm like near Austin, um, I have my keys player with me, which is really nice addition. Like since I moved to Austin about seven years ago, that was the first time I ever, had a fourth member but whenever i'm out out like you know at least a few hours from austin i just do the trio so it's same thing man it's just kind of like in your face rock and roll guitar solos and stuff but um but like kind of soul driven Mm -hmm. like we do a lot of soul stuff you know um and that's what i really have found like my little niche is sort of that it's not just all like loud in your face rock. It's kind of got like a lot of groove to it, you know? Well, yeah, you can hear you sing. You can hear vocals. Yeah, I'm more of a singer, honestly. Like, yeah. I, I was forced to play the guitar over many, many years um, because I just couldn't find a singer. I played the drums for a long time. Um, but when I realized I was just going to need to front the band if I wanted to get anything done and hit the road I just started singing and playing guitar and then had to play catch up basically um well you sound great 
I mean, that's for right. sure. I think it's you have a good sound, and again, when you listen to the Spotify link and his albums, like you know, it's going to be a good live concert. And I think that's what's really cool. And the Corner Pub is a wild place because it can get wild there. It's really weird. Yeah, it's a weird, last, it's a weird venue. <laughs> the last time we played there, we had a great time. It was we had like Tomar and the FCs and a bunch of great bands. A lot of the bands come out of Austin, so I know a ton of the bands, um, and they're killer. I mean. There's some incredible bands that come through and play at this festival. Um, they do a really good job of organizing all of it. And the the year we played, it was really well put together and a lot of talent. And yeah, the bands do kind of mix and jam together. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have um, Nick from the Reverend Few uh, sitting in with us to play guitar. And he's an incredible guitar player. So that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, so that's one thing. Like, I love that aspect about festivals, and yeah. it it works best for the audience too. Like, the people who oh, benefit yeah. the most are the, the audience. And uh, let's let's kind of go over what you're doing with your music. Uh, looking at like you on your website, you have your tour, you have your your stuff. You have a new album coming out. You got anything that you want people to kind of follow, or what's going on? Yeah, we. I was on this TV show. And it took up like during COVID. And so it took like about two years of my life just kind of like vanished. And um, that whole time I was just sort of in like a holding pattern essentially. But since I got back to Austin and have been working, um, I'm in the studio with Jonathan Tyler. Um, he's, he's like a really well-known uh, musician, producer and stuff. Um, I'll be working with him this month to finally give back to releasing new music. So pretty soon, um, by summertime, I'll have a bunch of new songs out. Um, and yeah, I was just on the road forever. And like was after COVID too, it was just sort of in like a holding pattern. I didn't put out a whole lot of new music. I was just gigging a lot. Um, we were going to Europe a lot and I just kind of wanted to pick really carefully a new, my new like sound for the, for my new records and uh, finally found exactly what I wanted to do. It's kind of more in the soul world, actually. Um, I, I really loved getting even more into the soul thing and like um, making the songs more songwriter based kind of. Yeah. I, I was playing so many solo shows that I was like, man, all these songs, um, I have all these like solo acoustic songs I've never recorded, you know, tons of them um, that aren't so like guitar forward. They're more like based off like the words and just like the the singing aspect of it and like the changes and stuff. And so I'm going to record a bunch of those. Um, and yeah, you know, just always trying something new. I I love country. I love blues. I love rock. I love soul. Um, I like jazz. I play a lot of different genres. So. I think each record kind of just reflects what I'm into at that time, you know, and the next one will be pretty soul, uh, pretty soul influenced, but surprisingly still very Zeppelin-y, like you were saying earlier, because I'm just so influenced by those bands. And I, I think I really at heart, I'm like a rock guy. I grew up as like a rock guy. Um, and then you know, got into the blues and stuff like traditional blues after I was a rock like influence. So I always have like a foundation somewhere in, in rock and like having guitar solos, you know, I love, I, I mean, love I, a good and, and it's, it's hard to, it, I mean, it's weird for me to say that, like, especially to somebody like we, we just met right now and I'm like, I don't want to say something that might offend, offend you or because I'm not a musician. I have no idea. When I say Led Zeppelin to explain to the audience, what I mean is you can, Led Zeppelin has a great way of highlighting each person in the band or each part of the song. Certain songs highlight the drummer, certain songs highlight the, the guitarist. And so people start loving certain songs because my favorite instrument is the drums. My favorite yeah. instrument is the, you know, and then when you have it all come back to a vocal person, that's when you know it's like they got a good, well-rounded band, and it's like, okay, cool. So everyone's talented. That's important. Yeah, so definitely. Yeah, I, I try. Really, I try to make sure that the guys I'm working with are better than me. You know. Yeah. Um, I want like absolute killers 
um, because especially in a trio, it's just a, such a naked version of a band that each person really stands out, you know? So I, I like to have standout players um, and um, they make me perform at my very, very best. And, and uh, yeah, when you're just, when you're the only front person on stage, um, you really got to have such a strong foundation behind you, you know? So whether it's in the studio or live, I try to just have really, really good bass player and drummer. And that's what people should expect coming this Saturday, happening at the Corner Pub, part of your Conroe Crossroads ticket. So you do need to get a ticket to see Jordan Matthew Young. He's going to be playing around 10.30. Uh, around that time, he's closing out the Corner Pub on Saturday. So make sure to get your tickets right now, today. I'll put a link for you can, where you can purchase tickets. And then, uh, uh, Jordan, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We're going to be highlighting some of your music after this interview. So if you want to hear some Jordan to make sure to tune in to Condors 104.5, 106.1, and also our live stream at IRLoneStar.com and, of course, our app for your mobile devices. So, Because uh, after this YouTube Facebook, we're gonna, we, can't, we can't broadcast music on Facebook, guys. So sorry, we just can't. So, uh, Jordan, thank you so much for being part of the morning show, and I look forward to seeing you on Saturday, man. Yeah, I can't wait, brother. Thanks for having me. I'm looking forward to it. And, guys, here's some more music from the Jordan Matthew Young. I guess it's a Jordan Matthew Young band. Is that fair to say? I, I, Matthew Young. Um, yeah, for a long time I had a band name, but I just was on the road so much I was hiring different players okay. all the time. Well, how about this then? Let me reintroduce it. Here's some music from Jordan Matthew Young. We'll be right back here on Mornings with Lone Star featuring people from the Conroe Crossroads Festival happening this week, folks, starting on Thursday. <laughs> 